So we're here today at Reedy's and we've got the brand new Taylor 317E, the new Grand Pacific. This is Taylor's new take on the Dreadnought. It's a little bit different, which we'll find out when we unbox it. Um, let's have a look. And it's been designed for the ground up with the V class bracing as well, which they introduced last, last year. year. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been designed all the way with that in mind. Um, was it, yeah, they announced it last week at NAM. Um, looking forward to it. Um, here it is. So, uh, a nice bit of info whilst I'm getting rid of this bag. This is the guitar that V-Class Bracing was actually designed for. Oh. So this was the, the shape that they used on the prototype. So first off, we've got a, a custom... Look at that! Nice wow. This is unique Ooh. to the Grand Pacific. This is called Western Floral. It sort of looks like um, old style leather tool things. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a, what a cowboy would yeah, wear. Yeah, like a cowboy's <laughs> leather uh, belt or something. Yeah. A bag or of shoes. Leather underpants. <laughs> leather underpants. Yeah. Hot in the summer, warm in the winter. So, there we go. First look. Look at the shape. Let's observe this. So, it's the evolving. big difference with the previous. Uh, Taylor Dreadnought, which everything that ended in a zero. Uh, this has got a rounded slope shoulder. The previous Dread was a bit squarer. The waist is a little bit different and the lower bout's a little bit bigger as well. Let's get her out. So we've got Sitka Spruce on the top. Good. Sapili on the back. Good. Uh, tropical Mahogany Neck. Yeah. Ebony uh, fingerboard. Lovely. Uh, got the jewel inlays. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you've got the matching inlay on the headstock as well, which is cool. It kind of ties it all together. Yeah, nice. Digging is this, it. This will be all solid wood, won't it? Yeah, American so this, made, all every solid American wood. tailor. Yeah. Um, is this the first one in the last, so the 300 series, is that the, the first American entry level series. American yeah, yeah. series? So yeah. the Grand Pacific is coming in three models in the first shipment. You've got the 317, this one. You've got the 500 series, which is a Torrified Sitka Spruce and Mahogany, and the 700, uh, which is Torrified Spruce and Rosewood. But yeah, this is the, the first one. And this is, I'm excited, let's get this tuned mm. up. It wouldn't be a Reedy's video without a bit of tuning, would it? It did come straight out of the box. You know, come on. Ooh. Um, like this a look. Is quite literally a first impressions video. Yes, yeah, complete, yeah, yeah. complete. Now the first thing I always do um, when I tune up a guitar, especially like a, a new nice acoustic, just play a, a chord that you know and love. G. <laughs> So it's got bags of sustain. The bass is there, it's present, but it's not that's booming. booming. Yeah. Uh, the big thing that uh, Andy talks about in his videos and the stuff he's written about it, that's Andy Powers, the guy who designs uh, all the Taylor guitars now. He wanted to get rid of that. Some people describe it as like a, a woofy, yeah. sort of sound so if you've ever recorded with a dreadnought guitar you know you sort of when you dig in it almost goes whoom uh, and it just doesn't do that it's a lot more balanced isn't it a lot more balanced a lot more controlled so first impressions what do you think richard loud loud and really balanced oh. yeah yeah one thing that I noticed straight away, if you dig in, it's got that sort of... It's the power that you want from a Dreadnought, but it's not... The bass isn't overtaking like a traditional Dreadnought sound. But also when you lighten up, it's really sweet. Like I said before, it's really, um, really controlled. It's really dynamic. So when you're playing around with dynamics like that, it's like really... As well. 
So I think this would like sit really well with, um, do you know, sort of like a singer songwriter. Yeah. Because it's not going to overtake the voice like a traditional bass if you've not got sort of a really sort of powerful voice. You know, a traditional dread can be a bit much. But, you know, similarly, if you are uh, into sort of like, um, you know, playing melodies and lead stuff, you know, this has got bags of power as well. Uh, Yeah, I try finger style. The the treble notes are so like clear and yeah. so articulate, and it's you know when you're digging in, it's powerful as well. Yeah. I think part of the goal when uh, Andy Powers was working on the design of the guitar was to get that balance, but getting something that's going to record well, but almost something that responds like the sound in your head, which is a recorded guitar, yeah. not a a real guitar. Yeah, right. But yeah, let's let's have a um, see what it sounds like finger style. <laughs> sound different as well it, it yeah. doesn't sound like any of the Taylor shapes that we've had before not at all well, it doesn't sound like a Taylor that much does it it is different there's yeah I don't know what it is it's hard to explain but it's yeah it's different yeah I think that whole thing um you know I do own a Taylor by the way but I own guitars made by other people too um do you know I think this is going to appeal to people who like the feel of Taylor's, they love how well um, made they yeah, are. Yeah, exactly, it's the quality thing as well. There is an element of the Taylor sound there. I know, there. that's what I mean, it's, it's hard to put. But it is different, yeah. it is different. I suppose there's, you, you've got a brand new shape, but you've got the brand new internal architecture. Yeah. So the rather than having the x brace that would go like that, like your traditional guitar, uh, steel string acoustic guitar, you've got the two braces kind of starting off there going, 
Oh. Like that by the side of the sound wall. But yeah, that's that is really interesting to have something mm. so unique. I think so many things that come out, they're just reinventing the wheel, yeah. so to speak. Genuinely different Taylor. Yeah. I think that's my take on it. Absolutely. It's the more you played it, it seemed in that first kind of couple of minutes it seemed to get loud, it like awkward yeah, for a little sure. bit. It's some yeah, amazing. Love it. Wonderful. But yeah, if you want to come and try it, uh, come down to Reedy Toma Music in Blackburn, Lancashire. All right. Um, we'll put the kettle on. You can have a cup of tea uh, or some, coffee. Play some lovely guitars. And play some lovely guitars. We've got the the brand new uh, Grand Pacific, but as you can see, we've got a wonderful tailor room with lots of other nice guitars as well. Come and see us. Or if you want to have a, a chat about anything, yeah. we can drop us an email, give, give us a, a call. Send an owl. Send an Send owl. Send a pigeon. Do what you need to do. <laughs> We're here. We're here for you. Cool.